India and Indians around the world are over the moon about India's successful launch of its second moon mission known as Chandrayaan-2. Social media has exploded with videos and pictures of the launch of the liftoff of the, of the spacecraft Chandrayaan-2, whereas uh, congratulatory notes have started to pour in from around the world, including Indian space agency ISRO's American counterpart NASA. If the spaceship known as Chandrayaan literally translated means moon vehicle successfully lands on the moon, India will become only the fourth country to achieve that feat. Only United States of America, Russia and China have been able to achieve that before India. Behind this incredible feat are many moving parts. Here are five things you must know about India's moon probe known as Chandrayaan-2. What is noteworthy is the fact that Chandrayaan-2 was fully indigenous mission. What it means is everything about this mission was pulled together locally from the scientists to the technology to planning, execution and the ultimate launch were all Indian. Chandrayaan-2 is India's second moon probe but it's the first time in the entire history of humans that a country will be making a soft landing on moon's south pole hoping to find ice water. In another first, it's for the first time in the entire history of India's space program that two women are heading a major space mission. Muthaya Vanitha, the project director and Ritu Karidal, the mission director. Let's hope this will pay the way for women assuming leadership role in other sectors in India. India is a country known for its frugal innovation. Not surprisingly, India's latest moon mission comes at a cost of a modest $125 million. To put that in perspective, America's moon mission Apollo 11 that landed two men on the moon came at a cost of $25 billion. That was back in 1969. Today, it would be $152 billion in today's dollars. Chandrayaan-2 comprises three modules, the orbiter, the lander known as Vikram, and Pragyan, which is the rover. The orbiter is going to be orbiting around the moon. The lander is actually going to be landing on the moon's surface with Pragyan, the rover in its belly. So once it lands on the moon, it will open and let Pragyan, the rover, roll out and move about on the surface of the moon collecting data which will then be sent back to the mission control center back in India. If all goes as planned, the mission will take 48 days to cover the distance of 384,000 kilometers between the Earth and the moon before the lander Vikram lands on the moon's surface with Pragyan the rover in its belly. Indeed, a giant leap for India's space program. Hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching.